welcome back to a random review and how to kids edition. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make super kid crazy looms. My name's Ava and this is my sister Grace. My sister's going to be picking out her rubber bands for her bracelet and I'm going to be teaching her how to make one a bracelet. So Gracie, watch. First you're going to make sure your rubber bands are lined up. Do they look lined up? Uh huh. So we're going to and make sure we always get two bracelets. I mean two rubber bands here to make our bracelet. Next she's gonna pick her next color. And this is my little sister who wants her to pick her colors. And she really and she really wanted to make a bracelet because I know how. So I'm gonna help her. So Grace, which color do you want now? And what I'm doing here on the loom is I'm gonna is so, so to put the rubber bands on, you're gonna have to make the Crescent moons facing the back, the back of the crescent moons facing you. When you want to like take your rubber bands and put them over to the next moon thing, you have to flip it to here so the crescents are facing you. And, but you also have to use these tools to do your bracelet. And I'll show you when you have to use the tools. You basically just have to use this one. That one's just a little like hard to use, but you basically just have to use this one. So she's gonna hand me her rubber bands, and this is my little sister. So she, she wanted to make a bracelet. So Grace, do you see how they're lined up zigzag way? Uh huh. So give me, so give me another rubber band, okay? And as you can see now, we have our brace, all of our rubber bands on. Next, we're gonna flip it over. And what you have to do, you have to go down under and like hook the rubber band that's under the other rubber band. And make sure that the rubber band that's on top of the rubber band, on top of the rubber band, um, doesn't go over to this second moon. So then you have to go deep down under again, but sometimes your finger might get in the way and that's fine. But you have to go deep in and then hold it down until you get to here. Because you don't, like I said, you don't want this rubber band going to here, then you'll mess your bracelet up and sometimes you might have to start over again. And I try not to do that, but sometimes it happens. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna keep pushing this one down until I get over here with this dark pink rubber band. And we're gonna go over here. So now that we all done, like with the rubber band, now I have to get um, whatever color hooker you want, you you can use. And I guess she wants white, so you're gonna take it all the way over here to hook it, pull it under, you're gonna put this rubber band all the way over on for this one, then you're gonna take this one, and then you're gonna pull it. Then, there you have your bracelet. Now you have to peel 
pull it off. That's the exciting part because then you get to wear your bracelet after one more step. After you pull your bracelet off, there's one more step and then you get to wear your bracelet and that's the exciting part. I'm pretty sure for you guys if you have ever made a bracelet before. So we're gonna keep pulling it off. And as you can see here, my sister's bracelet is almost done. So you take your hooker part. Now, it could be easy or hard. And my sister's now asking me to move out of my seat. She's being crazy, cuckoo crazy. I almost have my sister's bracelet all hooked together so she could wear it. And sometimes it's so hard that you might have to have help. But I think I got it for my sister, if I can. Yep, and here my sister can put it on. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you next time, bye. Anyway, bye now.